Uh, there are many other ways that we propose saving money, but this idea that we help those at the bottom, I think it's vital. A quick factual question. Who would gain most from your personal tax proposal? Somebody on the minimum wage, somebody on average earnings, or somebody on £95,000 a year? Uh, people on benefits would, 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 would gain the most because actually their whole lives would be transformed by making work. Mr Farage, people on benefits wouldn't benefit at all from the personal tax allowance because they wouldn't be paying any tax. Who would benefit most? Somebody on the minimum wage, somebody on average earnings or somebody on £95,000? The poorest in society would benefit the most. And, as it, and when it the comes to the raising question, the tax Mr. bans... Is, uh, I'm we sorry, think Mr. Farage. No, I'm sorry, we Mr. Farage. Well, we sorry, think it's monstrous. No, no, I mean, we think it's monstrous. Facts are important here. The person who would benefit most yeah. from yeah. your personal tax proposal is somebody on £95,000 mm. who would gain far more than somebody on average earnings, who would gain much more than somebody on the minimum wage. Did you not know that? Not in percent... Not in percentage terms. No, that's not true. In actual terms, yes, the more you earn, the more you earn, even if you do pay tax. But in percentage terms, those at the bottom would do best. And when you talk that's about the tax ban, that's, that's not right. Terms, a staff nurse, the actual that's not a staff nurse now pays 40p tax. A staff, why should a staff nurse pay what for decades was top rate tax? But somebody so on the yes, minimum wage we want to would gain taxes for less everybody. absolutely and proportionally than somebody on average earnings on £95,000. No. Your tax proposals help people who are richer not, rather than poorer. Not in percentage terms. It's true. Not in percentage terms. Plus, plus you admit really that other big absolutely the manifesto, somebody on £95,000 would gain the about. most. You admit that? Somebody on £95,000 in cash earn terms earn would benefit the most. Right, OK. In percentage terms, no. That's in cash not the terms, question. In cash terms, somebody on £95,000 would gain more than somebody on average earnings or the minimum wage from your proposal. In cash terms. In percentage terms, terms no. I oh, know, but I'm asking you a straight question. See, the thing terms, about you, Mr Farage, no. is you're a straight well, you could, talker. I mean, you, ask you don't play all these political games like Labour yeah. and the Conservatives. No, straight you're question. Playing, no, you're does somebody, playing silly no, games. Straight question. Does somebody not, in cash there, terms right, gain you more see, on £95,000? So well, just answer the question, yes or no. The more you earn, the more you take home. Yes. What do you mean this is so typical? Being asked questions and asked to answer them? Well, 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 what's happening here? What's happening here is we're coming along as the third biggest party, maybe even the second biggest party by the weekend in terms of the total number of people that want to vote for us. Uh, and we want to have an open debate about yeah. the things we stand for. Sure. Yeah. And, and, we, and we're, we're getting stuck here on one very narrow point. Well, where I argue it's in your biggest tax cut you proposal. You argue in actual terms. Why don't we talk about our energy policy? Why, Why don't, don't we, talk we talk about your about inheritance the fact tax we're the only party proposal, proposing Mr. to freeze Frosch. immigration? Yeah. Oh, I'll ask Absolutely. about inheritance tax. At the moment, a couple monstrous. with a house yeah. less worth less than a million pounds will pay no inheritance tax. So your proposal to raise the threshold from a million to depends. two million is a big tax giveaway only if your house is worth over a million pounds. Is that really your first priority? If you've earned money and paid tax on it and bought a house, you shouldn't be taxed again. Your children, successors, shouldn't be taxed again after you die. But that's true for everybody, um, unless your house is worth over a million pounds. Why are you prioritising people whose houses are worth over a million pounds? You could spend the money on low-income people, medium-income people. Instead, you've got a massive tax cut only oh. if your house is worth over a million pounds. What's fair about that? I don't believe, I don't believe in double taxation. People have paid that tax during their working life. Their kids should not have to pay tax again. And you know something? We've got one of the most complicated tax systems in the whole world. The tax code is 21,000 pages long. We're looking for mass simplification. Can I ask about your candidates, Nigel Farage? You've defended 41 yeah. found to be social media friends of a fascist leader, a former organiser for the British National Party who founded the New British Union 